He comes up with the steal, little give and go, bounce pass to Suggs. And then Ayayi is there to clean it up, a 6-5. It's Jalen Suggs and, and Joe, uh, Joel Ayayi. Other than that, there aren't a ton of shooters. Uh, right there is, uh, are the Zags. You've got multiple guys that can rip and run because it's not based upon set plays. It's based just not having the continuity of being able to practice. I mean, Pepperdine couldn't really practice. They had kind of more individual work for the longest time. So they're not going to be, you, you would imagine, they're not going to get back out there and uh, and really gutted it out. It was really impressive. Johnny Smith with another bucket. Pepperdine back within five, but now it's into the second half. There were still 17 minutes left. They normally move. They got to get better ball movement, and player movement. That's that's the way they play. And thus far, it's been a little bit slower than than Uniness off of screen rolls and really shoot it. Excellent free throw shooter. He's got a great stroke. Ayayi for three. Baylor's the the most complete offense and defense. Actually, Baylor's a better three point shooting team than Gonzaga. When was the last time we've said that in the last 20 years? But, but I agree with you. Michigan is spectacular. And got so many weapons, so many different ways to beat you. If they're not three, like I, 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 I came make, against Wisconsin. After a while, it looked like clutched against what was then an undermanned Louisville team. But Wisconsin's really good. And Zaga coming into the game tonight, averaging 96 points per game. Ball bounces to Ayayi. And he wants I mean, they, they wait until later on to call or the foul call, but Suggs is You know, you talked about guys getting better year by year and then, you know, having a breakout season. Watson's a pretty good candidate to put up some really big numbers next year like Ayayi is doing this year.